Now, hey guys, welcome back to another Swisser 01 video. And today, I'm gonna try out something new. We got some weird planes. As always, we are not at Area 51 today. We are actually at... Majera? Yeah, that's the one. Yeah, this is our airport, Majera, Lima Papa Mike Alpha. You know, it's a, it's a nice airport. It's a nice island as well. It's all right. I installed some kind of weird scenery that is uh, not perfect. Oh, man. Yeah, this tennis court does not look to be functional. Oh, wait. So this airport is special because it has this runway expansion, but um, actually doesn't seem to like it very much, I guess. Jesus Christ. But anyway, we're going to try out some weird planes again. This is uh, the Fire Streak. It's a concept plane, but it is a supersonic propeller plane, a turboprop plane. Now, as you can see, we have two props, two propellers. Um, doesn't look too bad, I guess. We have a thick engine that is powering those two propellers. Right, so this is the cockpit. It's 2D. It's not like the perfect flight model, but it, you know, it's just a concept. Um, let's just go ahead and start the engines. I just want to see how that works. Start engines to running. There were planes before with uh, double propeller mechanisms, but um, this is an exception. Let's go 100% throttle. Let's go ahead and take off. Jesus, wow, this thing is like quick AF. And the sounds are very low. I think I might have to change that one. But we are super fast, actually. And this is a very special airplane. But let's not stall out. Let's do a barrel roll. That is totally possible. Yeah. So, um, what is this plane? I, I, I don't know. So it's supposed to be supersonic. You know, that doesn't seem to work. Yeah, that really doesn't seem to work. Yeah, I kind of forgot that I was flying inverted for a moment. All right, <clears throat> I apologize. Now, that's not the only plane that we're going to check out today. There's also another one called the Magnesium Arrow, but let's go further into the Fire Streak first. So, obviously, like any other supersonic planes, it's supposed to fly at higher altitude. It's got the engines running. Let's go to, like, 50,000 feet at least to hit one Mach. <laughs> And we are stalling out. Okay, so how fast can we go in this? This is supposed to go one Mach. We were just going one Mach, but we do not appear to get faster for some reason. See, so yeah, this plane is really not working as it should be. We can do barrel rolls for sure because there's no wing actually. Okay, then let's land at Majera. This should not be a problem. So in the cockpit, it's kind of interesting that we have a, a front camera, even though, well, we, we see. Let's go ahead and try to land this plane on the wrong side of Majera. <clears throat> I'm not cheating. The, uh, it's just, uh, so, so we got an aircraft carrier over here. Yeah, you guys know what I'm planning on doing. Oh, no, no, no. Jesus Christ. So this thing apparently also works like a helicopter. That was a voice crack, by the way. Easily turns into a helicopter. Uh, yeah. Landing this on an aircraft carrier should not be any type of business. <laughs> uh, you know, physics kind of left this chat. Let's go. Let's go ahead and land. Okay. <clears throat> let's go ahead and land. The good thing is that you can't physically crash because of this. No. No, 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 it's not, not no, 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 no. <gasps> oh, can't re physically crash. Ooh, that was sad. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, okay, whatever. Well, the concept of this is kind of cool, but it's, like, not working, and I don't like that. Yeah, this thing is a helicopter now. What the frick? How, oh. Judging by this really crappy flight model, I'm pretty sure we're gonna fall apart. So our engines are up. Let's put the throttle to 100%. Okay, let's go ahead and release the brakes. Okay, so we just got shot by the aircraft carrier. This plane really works just like a helicopter. Yeah, let's demonstrate the helicopter feature on the aircraft carrier. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, our physics really have just left the chat. This is incredibly hard to fly. Oh, okay, next plane is the Magnesium Aero 3. I hope that airplane model is going to be better. Probably not. All right, so here we are in the Magnesium whatever plane. I am confusion. So this plane is very special. Let's not go further into what this plane is supposed to be. Let's just go ahead and fly it. All right. This, uh, this sounds like a piston engine. Yeah, this is a piston engine. Okay, let's just go ahead and take off. Well, we have a very mediocre cockpit that barely has instruments, but we are flying. This is not flying well, but we are flying. We were flying until we were not flying, apparently. Can I just go home now? 
All right then, let's not go home then. I'm trying to use those instruments properly, but it's like, I have no idea what this is trying to be. F-A-M-S-L, which is probably some alien stuff. Yeah, the selection of instruments in this airplane is kind of weird. All right, let's enter the pattern and we're totally going to butterize on the runway. In Australia, they say Vegemite the runway, which is also valid. Do we have flaps in this? Probably not. I mean, in comparison with the other plane, I mean, this this flies, I guess. That's a bonus point. All right, we're on base final. Let's turn right for butter final. Okay, we don't have flaps. We don't have spoilers. This is a very disappointing airplane. Hey, yo, let's go. This should not be a problem. Not be a problem. Yeah, this road system is uh, slightly confusing to say the least. <laughs> You know, it kind of reminds me of Harry Potter at this point. All right, gamers, thank you for watching today's video. And yes, I'll see you tomorrow. As always, good night. And also, as always, stay greasy. Ouch.